<sighs> so if you clicked on this video because of the thumbnail and the title, yeah, I I wrecked my stingray. I totaled it out. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and run a little video right here on what exactly happened, what road I was on. So in case you didn't understand what I was saying in the video, because I was still in disbelief that I just wrecked my new Stingray. Um, the night before, it, was, it wasn't it was raining, but it was like mist. And what I didn't know is the car has summer tires on it and it was a little cold. And from my research and from um, some guys that know tires and sports cars and all that, they told me that them tires are like bricks. When it's real cold outside so it was like ice and slid into the wall and boom total it out but my point of this video isn't really to talk about me wrecking my stingray but i figured in something that was negative there's a positive because i've learned a lot of things in that situation one before i bought my car Someone else was in a situation where they total out their car, but they had accident forgiveness. So for years of having insurance, I've never purchased accident forgiveness. So I was thinking like, well, I'm going to buy this Corvette. Maybe I just should get accident forgiveness just in case something crazy happens. And I did. So the accident I had didn't count against, didn't count against me. Also, if you ever finance in the car, always buy gap insurance. The unfortunate part about it is since I went through my personal bank, um, the dealership wouldn't sell me gap insurance. My bank didn't have gap insurance, but my car insurance, which is the same as the bank, uh, did 20% above cash value if you ever total out your car. So I took that option. Yes, it raised up the insurance a little bit, maybe $10, $15, I don't know. It doesn't matter the difference because it ended up helping out. Long story short, um, I only owned the car for a month, so I didn't have the title. I had to wait for a title. It actually ended up coming today. Um, I had to, it was just a bunch of mess, pretty much. But, long story short, I got myself a new Stingray. So, this one has red seats. The other one had peanut butter seats. This one's actually better. It's a Z51 package. I had a 2LT. This is a 2LT. Um, but they're both the same color. So let's get out and check it out. So I actually was going to pick it up yesterday, but it was snowing, as you see. So I had to wait today to pick it up. But here goes the new one. It's red. Got the black rims. These are 20s on the back. 19s on the front. It's just, it's, it's a little better looking car. Even though the other one I had wasn't bad. But I actually seen this one a little bit right after I committed to purchase my other one. And I didn't want to like go through all that of switching cars and all that crap. I just wanted a Stingray. So I didn't care. But... I ended up getting the one I wanted. I ended up buying a um, a transparent roof. So 
I can have the sun come through when I'm driving. Uh, but yeah, I like it, man. It was end up being a, a positive situation. Um, so as I close out this video, even if you don't buy yourself a sports car or something you think that you potentially might wreck one of these days, get accident forgiveness. Buy gap insurance or at least get 20% above value if you actually total it out. So that way you're not screwed just in case something happens. I mean, the good thing is when I purchased the vehicle, I did, I know to buy things under value. So I bought the vehicle $3,000 under what it actually was worth. So I was in the positive on that end. And when they gave me the 20%, I was even a better situation. So do that. See you guys later. Peace.